Let's talk about my winter TBR. Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am filming a installment of my 10 books I want to read this blank insert season here. This is kind of a new thing I'm implementing on my channel. I'm not the kind of person that likes to set monthly TBRs because I'm such a mood reader, but I tried something new last season for fall and I set a seasonal TBR and I shared it with you all and I actually really enjoyed it. And some of you said that you liked it as well. So I figured why not continue? The seasonal TBR feels better for me personally because it gives me a few months to kind of integrate these books into my reading and it kind of sets these 10 books at the forefront of my mind when I'm thinking about what I want to read next. So without further ado, today I am bringing you my winter TBR, the 10 books I would like to read sometime in December, January, February. I have five physical books and five books on my Kindle, so I think we're gonna start with the physical books. The first book I'm gonna talk about probably shouldn't be a surprise if you're a regular viewer of my channel. The first book on my winter TBR is actually one that I have already started. I'm a little bit under halfway and I'm hoping to finish it sometime this winter. It is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas. I've been doing reading vlogs for all the books in this series and I am currently on this one. As I mentioned, I have started it, but because it is a honker, a big old chunk of a book, I haven't been reading it super consistently and I've kind of been having to like push myself through it, but one of my goals is to definitely finish it by the time that this season is over. So wish me luck, reading vlog coming hopefully soon. The next book that I would like to read sometime this season is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. So many of you have been begging me to read this and just consistently reminding me, hey, 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 when are you gonna read it? When are you gonna read it? So I'm gonna try and read it this winter. I don't know what it is. The cover kind of gives me winter vibes. Lately, I have just been loving tragic, sad romances. And I don't know much about the Greek mythology behind this. Like I can't really remember the story off the top of my head, but I do know that it's sad. If you are somehow unfamiliar with this book, this is a retelling of Patroclus and Achilles. And yeah, that's pretty much all I know. I kind of want to go into it knowing very little, so I'm not even gonna read the back. It's just a beautiful book. So how could you not want to pick it up and read it, you know? The next book I would like to read sometime soon is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I read Emily Henry's other two novels this year and absolutely fell in love with them. They are some of my favorite romances that I've read. And so I just know I'm going to probably love this one as well. I've been putting off reading it because I didn't want to finish it and then have no more Emily Henry to read. But since her next book is coming out this next year, I figured now's a great time. I've been itching for another potential five-star romance. And Emily Henry's characters are just always great. So I'm excited to pick this up. This book follows Nora and Charlie and they both work in the publishing industry. And so to me, it feels kind of like a workplace rivals to lovers. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I just know that they work in the same industry. They've met a few times before. And I also know that apparently Nora is dealing with some like family stuff with her sister, but that's about the extent of everything I know. So I've heard really great things about this. Some people have said that this is Emily Henry's best book and I'm eager to see where it falls on my ranking. And the last two physical books that I have on my winter TBR are books that were featured in my recent Barnes & Noble Shop With Me vlog. So if you've seen that, these shouldn't come as a surprise. First one is The Stationery Shop by Marjan Kamali, and this is a historical political romance. This book takes place in the early 1950s in Iran, where Roya, our main character, finds this stationery shop, and the owner of the stationery shop is sort of like a little matchmaker and sets up Roya with a boy who has a love for poetry and political activism. Again, I'm just really in my sad, tragic romance kick, so I feel like this is gonna fit the bill, and I just predict that this is gonna be a five star. 
I don't know, I could be crazy, but I'm really feeling the five-star energy from this book. And the last physical book that I have on my winter TBR is da -da -da, probably the most obvious book to ever go on a winter TBR. It's A Winter's Promise by Christelle Debos. This is a YA fantasy about this girl, Ophelia, who can see into an object's past and travel through mirrors and a bunch of other stuff that I don't understand or know about yet. And I think apparently she gets like wed off to some evil king of some sort and stuff ensues. Again, I don't really know too much about this book, but I have seen it everywhere. I've heard raving reviews and it just really fits the winter aesthetic. This is also on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. You know, I got you. Now the next five books that I would like to read are all going to be on my Kindle. I don't own the physical copies yet, either because they're on Kindle Unlimited or I just bought them on my Kindle in general. The first one is actually a new release and it's one that ideally I would like to read before Christmas and that is Tangled in Tinsel. This book comes out on December 8th and it's on Kindle Unlimited and it is basically a smutty, why choose reverse harem workplace romance. The main girl is some sort of like party planner or designer. I'm not really sure, but most of her clients are these rich, wealthy, hot businessmen. And apparently she is planning a Christmas party with four of them when they get snowed in to this house and they all have to stay together and stay together, they do. I found out about this book through Princess of Paperback, who is one of my favorite booktubers. I love her content, she is so funny, and she loved this and gave it five stars and said it was great. And I am always down for a quick little smutty novella. So I added it to my TBR, I pre-ordered it on my Kindle, and I'm ready to read it. It's probably the only holiday themed book that I really have interest in reading. I don't know why Christmas movies and books and stuff like that, even Christmas music isn't usually my favorite, but who knows? Maybe this will put me in the Christmas spirit or maybe it'll just make me horny. I don't know. Next on my winter TBR, I have two romances that deal with ice skating, whether it's figure skating or hockey. I'm not picky. The first of these two books, I actually already read. It was one of my first reads of the season, but I'm still gonna include it in this video because it, it was on my winter TBR. And that is From Lukov With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is a slow burn figure skating, enemies to lovers romance, and it is a chunk of a romance book. When they say slow burn, they are not kidding. This was my first Mariana Zapata that I ever read and I enjoyed it. It wasn't perfect, but I gave it a 3.75 star and it definitely did kind of fit the winter vibe with the, the figure skating. You know? The next one that I'd like to read is one that I think came out this year and has just been blowing up. I see it everywhere and that is Icebreaker. This is a figure skating and a hockey player romance which is kind of interesting. Other than that I pretty much know nothing about it except for the fact that apparently the male love interest finger bangs a girl in a limo when other people are around. And for some reason I was like that's enough for me. Add it to my TBR. <laughs> I'm a simple gal. Okay, next we have another romance, but this one has a very different energy. This is Bully by Penelope Douglas. This is, as you can probably guess, a bully romance. It follows Jared and Tatum, but I believe it only has Tatum's perspective. They are 18, about to graduate high school, and they used to be really great friends growing up, like inseparable besties for the resty. But then one summer, Jared, goes away with his dad and comes back and is a completely different person. He is a complete asshole. And he's basically made it his mission to make Tatum's life a living hell at school. And if there's something you should know about me, it is that I really do love a bully romance. I don't know if it's the toxicity or what. I love a bully romance where the two main characters are just constantly at each other's throats. Not where the bully is just picking on the innocent, fragile other party, but when they both are like fucking each other up. I just love it. I don't know. I feel like bully romances are just enemies to lovers done right. Penelope Douglas so far is a hit or miss author for me. Punk 57 was a five star. Corrupt was a two star. So I'm excited to read more from this author and kind of see where this one lands. But I feel like this one's going to be good. I don't know. We'll see. And the last book on my winter TBR 
is another Kindle Unlimited. I actually didn't know this was on Kindle Unlimited for a while, and then when I discovered it was, I immediately downloaded it. It is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. This is a Japanese fiction story about a coffee shop that you can go to where you can talk to your dead loved ones, but only until the coffee you're drinking gets cold. So I believe it's a collection of several different stories that kind of are intertwined together within this cafe of people having conversations with their loved ones. And it sounds heartbreaking, tragic, sad. So I wanna read it. It's also a pretty short book, which is really up my alley. I'm definitely in my short book era and I'm looking forward to reading it this winter. All right, that is everything. Those are the 10 books that I have on my winter TBR that I am hoping I will get to sometime in the next few months. Let me know what books you are planning on reading soon in the comments, I would love to know. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you very soon for another video. I'm sending you lots of love and light, and I hope you have a great day or a great night. Bye.